right, so we're going to do a brain dissection. My lab assistant here is a Dr. <laughs> Kate Anders. And tell them what kind of brain this is. A sheep brain. It's a sheep brain. Is it very big? No. So a sheep weighs as much as we do or more, and you can tell they're not the sharpest tool in the shed. Their size matters when it comes to the brain, and their brains are pretty small. Can I show it's them some real stuff? brain. Mm-hmm. And so with the sheep brain, you have these little mountains. Those are called the gyrus, and the plural form is gyri. And then in between those gyri, you have a sulcus. That's like the valleys. And the plural form of sulcus is sulci. So this is all the cerebrum of this sheep. Notice how the spinal cord comes out the back side. Our spinal cords are vertical. Theirs are horizontal because they're, they're quadrupeds and we're bipedal. This is the cerebellum right here. And that's going to deal with balance. Here's the cerebrum. And then on this underside, you can see the brain stem. And there's three parts to the brain stem. You have the midbrain, pons, and medulla. All right, so as far as external features, you're gonna have to be quiet, Harper. As far as external features, uh, this is the optic chiasm. So when we, whenever we see something, it comes in through the optic nerve and all the stuff on the nasal side will switch over. So half the, half the visual field from your right eye We'll switch over to the left side and go back to the visual cortex back here in the occipital lobe of the brain. So the lobes correspond with the, the bone. You have the frontal lobe from here up. You have parietal lobes. You have two parietal lobes. You have temporal lobes right here. And then you have your occipital lobe toward the back. And then with the brain stem, like I said, you have the midbrain, pons, and medulla before it goes to the spinal cord. Now the pituitary gland, I think it's kind of smushed, but it should be right in here. You're gonna have to do something else, Harper. That's too loud. And um, if we take this, if we kind of separate the cerebellum from the rest of the cerebrum, you can look in there. And this part right here is the midbrain, looking from top down. These two little mountains, these little humps, are called the superior colliculi, and below those are the inferior colliculi, and those deal with visual and auditory reflexes. So if you see something in your peripheral vision and you kind of reflexively look, or you hear something and you kind of reflexively turn your head that way, those are the superior and inferior colliculi that do that. And then the pineal, the pineal gland is right here, which would... Um, secretes melatonin. So let's go ahead and do our first cut, which will be a sagittal section through the separating the two hemispheres, the right and left hemisphere. I'm going to separate the cerebellum and cut through the brain stem. And we'll have two separate hemispheres to look at here. One thing I want to make note of is notice that both in the cerebrum and the cerebellum that the outer portion is gray. That's what we call gray matter. And then you can see the white matter here and white matter all through here and all the way down through the brain stem into the spinal cord. So the gray matter is the actual neuron cell bodies the brain cell cell bodies, and all the white areas are the axons taking the information to and from the body. So motor, telling muscles to move and glands to secrete, they're gonna go down, and then uh, sensory is gonna come from the periphery and go up to the brain. And inside the brain we have, uh, we have the thalamus right here, and we have the hypothalamus right below it. And then the pituitary, which I believe is cut off both sides, would be right in this area right here hanging down. And then you have your midbrain, pons, medulla. This, this white area right here, you can kind of see a separation. That's where the la uh, lateral ventricles are and cerebral spinal fluid uh, flows through that area. 
And then you have your corpus callosum, which is a pretty prominent white area right through here. That is where axons go back and forth from the right and left hemisphere so that each side of the brain can communicate with the other. And um, that's some of the major features of the brain. In the next video, we'll, we'll look at some brain models and we'll be able to see more detail. But I wanted to introduce you to the brain with the dissection. Let me show you one more thing where you can kind of see the uh, white and gray matter pretty well is to do a coronal section. And you can see here, the gray matter is all on the outside, the cortex, and the white matter is all the axons leaving those, those cell bodies and going to and from the body. And the more convoluted the brain is, human brains are a lot, have uh, much steeper gyri and much, uh, the valleys are much, much uh, deeper, uh, the sulcus. So um, that just increases surface area for, for more neuron cell bodies. All right, thank you.